Richard Southern joins us again and we always chat about some of the day's more interesting stories at this time and it doesn't get much more fascinating than this. We've been geeking out Richard. We're getting new video and audio from the surface of Mars. We've never gotten video from another planet, and now we have like three cameras and audio to show. This is wow. the para parachute on a opening up on the Perseverance rover last week, Erica. Look at that. And look at the quality of that video, too. It's so high def. They said they took the cameras like kind of like off the shelf. In uh, they weren't special uh, in that regard. This is now the rover looking down at the surface as it gets set to land. You're going to see multi-camera view here of the sky crane, the the rocket power crane lowering the rover down. Look wow. at this on the left. Wow. That's so just... the top top left is the rover looking up, and then the bottom left is looking down at the rover. <laughs> it feels like you know you're you're there, right? So it really does. Yeah. And there it is making touchdown. Um, so yeah, they've never seen video like that before, Erica. And the scientists are saying we're going to be pouring over that for like years to come. Uh, there, there was is a mic on the rover. Unfortunately, the mic didn't record sound during that landing. However. They've gotten the mic working since, and we're going to play some audio here. And what you're going to hear is the sound of the rover humming. It's very much like your computer hums in your office. You're going to hear the rover. And then about eight seconds in, you're going to hear a gust of Martian wind. We've never had audio from another planet. Here it is. Take a listen. It's very subtle, but there it is, the Martian yeah. wind. <laughs> it's such cool stuff, and there's just more to come because that's going to be out there for, I think, about two years or so. So, so much more to explore and see. I can't wait. Uh, millions of Canadians have grown comfortable with working from home, perhaps too comfortable, Richard. You know, a lot of people that work from home, as it turns out, according to studies, actually work from bed, Erica. They did a study in November, <laughs> and they, they found 72% of those working from home said they work from bed at least some of the time. One in 10 said they spend almost the entire work week in bed. It's well, the experts bed say you might, it's, <laughs> it's pretty comfortable, right? Yeah. But experts say you might want to think twice about that. It could cause damage. They say slumping on a soft surface like a mattress can cause neck and back and hip pain even years down uh, the road and headaches and insomnia can result in as well. The experts say use a table, use a, some sort of a supportive chair. It's better for you in the long run. I don't know who these people are working for bed. Well, I don't Richard, have any time for that. You know what? I'm being told that we have a photo of you working from home. I don't know if we can pull this. Wow. Well, wow. Listen. Classic Southern. <laughs> you know, it's called beauty. You got to have your beauty rest, Erica. This okay. doesn't, just, doesn't just happen, you know? I know how much work is going on there. Uh, and finally, a new report is showcasing which cities are home to the world's richest people. New York City, despite this, we're talking about the exodus from cities. Well, not the case in New York. Uh, the, despite the pandemic, New York's still home to the richest people on the planet. A new report found that 27,600 members of the $30 million or higher club had a residence in New York City. Coming in second, Los Angeles, followed by London, Hong Kong, and Paris. Toronto, number 16th on the list of the world's richest cities. You know what I discovered today, Erica? We're number one when it comes to massive slushy puddles by the curb. Nobody's beating us on that one today. Yes, I had to put my boots on my dog today. It wasn't working out so well. All right, have a like great a night. Lake out there. Yes, <laughs> have a great night, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.